Brad Ass. I'm very excited right now. World MasterCard Fashion Week comes to a close tomorrow evening, but we have Flair's editor in chief, Cameron Williamson, here to talk mm -hmm. about the hottest trends from yes. some of the hottest collections from the designers. Good to see you. Thank you for good being here. Good to see you. Always good to be here. I know you had long days, long nights, but we it's been a long week, you yeah. know. But the good thing is that I felt like this year, um, and this season in particular, Toronto Fashion Week was completely on trend with the rest of the fashion weeks around the world. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so let's take a little look see yeah. at some of the um, beautiful runway fashions we saw. We're going to begin with somebody I'm wearing today, Pink Tartan, Kim Newport, always yes. knocks it out of the park. So, started with ZZ Top blaring on the speakers. Lisa Winkler showed up walking down the runway in a fringe bathing suit. Tons of black, head to toe black. High-waisted pants. I kind of thought it was like Mary Tyler Moore sexed up and a little bit of Halston. Yeah, a little bit of Halston meets yeah. a little Mary Tyler yeah. Moore, and I love that analogy. I love that the fringe is back, so you have movement when you walk in it. You have her traditional blocks looks like that, which are so feminine. She does a brilliant job. And you know, but I think it was like a 70s take that you can wear. You don't feel like you're totally in some retro movie. It's not costume. No, it never it is, wasn't. right? Yeah. Up next, Sid Nigam. Yeah, so Sid Nigam, he, he was actually the winner of the Mercedes-Benz Startup Award this year. So for a fledgling designer, he won $40,000, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. His stuff was pretty insane. You know, he studied origami to do this collection, and some of the pieces had up to 600 parallelograms that were hand-sewn together, oh and then attached so that's a perfect example there and it was almost like this kind of architectural sort of three-dimensional effect on the body it's wearable art absolutely you can see the origami influence and he had guys in the show as well which, which is, is a nice yes it's always there was in the case harpist on this on the runway yeah it was a very kind of serene mood it was all black white and a little bit of gray and the models walked very slow but you know he's he's definitely one to watch I was gonna say lots yeah, gotta come from him. huge he's he's a standout Melissa Nepton what did she serve up this time <laughs> all right so she's this Montreal born design of course um, so she kind of did this take on 90 1920 sportswear okay. and again that's something we saw at the international collections too is this kind of Luke step sportswear look so a lot of pastels kind of easy shapes lots of sort of silk jerseys super futuristic again it is yeah and the, and the thing that was really cool too is that she did this modern mesh and that's something that we've seen a lot this season for sorry for next season and it's almost like laser cut and then it's essentially mesh but really it's fabric that just has holes in it I love that it's airy and it's it's sexy but it's yeah. still covered I agree and I just think like out of a lot of the shows I saw this week hers just felt so concise and yeah. well edited and put together really great vision mm -hmm. so black and white is definitely key Black and white, a little bit of pastels. Pop of color. Sportswear detailing. 70s. Cutouts, love it. Yes. And last but not least, Haley Elsacer. Okay, so she was a total surprise. She has shown actually an Australian Fashion Week. This was her first time at the World MasterCard Fashion Week. And she totally stood out. I almost think she could be our country's answer to Jeremy Scott. Oh, that big yeah. phrase. So her collection was called Heavenly Bodies. It was totally playful and fun. Had amazing prints, great color. And if you saw the designer herself, she's got pastel pink hair. Like, she's <laughs> completely plays the part. She's perfect for it. Very cool. For more information, please check everything out at Flair at Flair Fashion and tweet up Cameron at CP yes. underscore Williamson so you've got what maybe 24 hours left in you yes I think so and then I'll collapse and then hire the harpist yeah and then I need spa. a fashion break yeah fashion just, just like five minutes cleanse yes. as it were thank you so much for making Thank the you time for having right me. now over to Kevin the newsroom